Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews here, and uh, I got an outdoor carpet from uh, Home Depot. I got it shipped for free, which was cool. It was about 240 bucks, I think. It's an outdoor carpet, a little expensive, more than what I wanted to spend. Um, but I went to the stores and I couldn't find 9x12. Uh, the biggest I found in the store was 8x10 at Home Depot, um, Walmart, uh, pretty much every uh, Costco, every store I went to, the biggest one they had, and it was very limited selection. Uh, they only had like two or three to choose from that were even left, or they didn't get any in stock, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's not that good. Uh, so I ended up ordering online a bigger selection. I wanted a blue one uh, to match my blue decor that I got going around. See the blue tarp at the bottom, and if you saw my other videos, I've been painting a lot of stuff blue. Uh, so I got a blue theme over here, and I got the black rubber top, and then I got some red involved. So we got red, black, and blue pretty much around the backyard. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, and yeah, that's it. So let's get this open and see what it looks like. We'll unpackage it. It is going to rain later on, so uh, maybe I'll, I'll come back and I'll show you guys what it looks like in the rain. Um, so it, this is not a long-term review though. This is only a review of what it looks like, what you can expect to get in the package. And uh, you know, that's it pretty much. Uh, I can't really do a review on how long it lasts unless I do it next year or at the end of the summer because I'm gonna pack this away every um, winter, um, fall, winter, you know, stuff like that. I'm gonna pack it away so the snow and everything doesn't damage it and the winter, uh, you know, crap. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna store this carpet away and fold it up every time. To make sure I do get the longest time out of it and it doesn't fade it's still gonna fade from the sunlight from the Sun but um you know it's not gonna fade as much as if I bring it in and take care of my stuff every winter time so that's why I got my two sheds and a third one in the back corner I got and we can store a lot of stuff uh, whatever we need and I've been emptying out the sheds which is good so uh, let's uh, get this open what is this big tree thing in the way here Oh, I had to get shoes. This black stuff I got from Home Depot. It's called Enviro Tile, um, which they do not make anymore. See how I made a little design? Um, they don't make this anymore from what I've seen. Home Depot stopped carrying it. They only You can only get what they have in stock. I thought it was a cool concept, cover everything. Weeds won't come through, um, but um, uh, what's it called? <coughs> it, um, it gets really, really hot. The weeds do come through because they're not interlocking. So they're not the greatest, but I already spent hundreds of dollars on them, so I'm not gonna throw them out and get interlocking ones and spend $1,000, because um, the interlocking are about double the price of these, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, these look fine, and I really don't care that much. It's my backyard. It's not like I entertain for people. Um, so that's it. So let's lay this down, and uh, let's check this out and stop me wasting your time, okay? Oh, let me at least show you the tags so you know what I, what I bought, idiot. I'm sorry. All right, so this is called Aloha Collection, as you can see right there, hopefully. See, it says Aloha Collection. That's the one that I got. Um, let's see the tag when it comes out. I'll show you the tag, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there, because I don't see any other information on there. Sorry about that. I am a little disorganized. It's my bad, man, my bad. Okay, let's cut it open now without cutting the carpet. So like I said, it says indoor outdoor rug. It is it seems a lot nicer than the other ones that I did see. So maybe that's why it was 240 bucks, 250 bucks or something. Okay, there's the collection right there. 9 by 12 is what I got. Uh blue and gray. And that's it. There's your clean indoor and outdoor uses. Avoid pulling yarn knots out of surface pile. Clip them off as even as you can. Just rinse with a hose. Can be vacuumed outdoors. 
Um, and that's it. It seems pretty simple to take care of. It says Oeco Tex, Confident Textiles, 100% polypropylene, or whatever, made in Turkey. That's what it says. So, ooh, I'm a little dizzy. I didn't have any breakfast. All I ate was all I ate. Uh, sorry about that. I hit the. I was trying to clean the thing off because I couldn't. It's pretty bright out here. Hopefully you guys can see. I have it pointed down, but I don't have like a shade cover over my camera. Um, so hopefully you guys can see what it looks like. I mean, I'll do different angles around the carpet so you guys can see. But I was trying to see if you guys, you know, had a good view when I clicked the button by accident. I ended the video. So um, let's uh, let's get this going now. Alright, so this popped up on the bottom at the last roll. Uh, it says Rug Care. Hopefully you guys can see that and there's no glare. Um, it says folding, packaging, and shipping may cause temporary creases in your rug. Once you receive your rug, unroll it if the edges are curled. Roll the edge in the opposite direction to speed it up. You can put heavy objects on it. Rug wear. To avoid uneven fading and wear, rotate the rug every three to six months. Shedding. Some rugs tend to shed when new. To reduce shedding, vacuum your rug without beater bar attachment one to two times a week. The shedding should stop after about three weeks. Care and cleaning. You find that online. Review and win. So if you review it, and you can win money okay so i guess that's cool i'm doing a review on mine so maybe i can put it i don't know let's see how it works i don't know i like the ones that say if you review we send you a gift because getting a chance to win probably 100 or 500 bucks is going to be slim and i'm going to forget this even exists and then you know that's kind of stupid so i rather uh i like when they say oh you give a review we send you a gift because um, if you remember the Denali blanket that I did a review on uh, probably a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, whatever. Um, if you did a, a review on their website or Facebook or whatever it was, um, they send you a, a, like a little mini um, Denali blanket, which is cool. It's like, that's like a probably, I mean, if you were to buy it, it probably cost them $20 to make it. But if you were to buy something like that, probably would have been $50 in the store. You know what I mean? And they throw you that. I'm like, wow. And because I mean, you did spend like 250 on, 300 on a, on a damn blanket, or it was, you know, very big and expensive it was. Um, so I mean, they throw in like a little mini one. It is pretty cool. So I like that instead. But what are you gonna do? Can't do. Can't look the gift horse in the mouth, right? Okay. So that's kind of what it looks like. Mine's all curled up, as you can see. Um, it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful rug. Um, I wish I had things that were more clean I can put on it to weigh it down, but I do not. Um, so I need to look for other items. All right, so let's go up close, take a look at this. <clears throat> and you guys can get an idea and see if you like it for your own backyard. So see, I put the red there, some black, give a little bit of flow. I know it's a dull red, but that's because those are two years old and the sun's been hitting it, so. See? <laughs> oh. Ooh, thought I was gonna sneeze again. All right, so see I did a little bit of red and the black design whatever um, So that's what it looks like. I think it looks really nice It um Look at this. It's all raised look at that. Wow, that that's nice. Sorry. That's nice No wonder why I was 200 and something now. I know why I was 200 and something 250 bucks now I get it like you know you get what you pay for I mean look at this thing it, It's beautiful I just hope it doesn't get dirty. Probably should have got black, like a black background instead of that. But yeah, that, that'll be a, you know, a review, I guess, and seeing how long it stays this color. So, I mean, I could probably do a good job at cleaning it because it's an outdoor carpet. So technically you can use all kinds of shampoo and then I can just uh, clean it outside with some shampoo and, uh, and one of those squeegees and maybe give it a little bit of a scrub, like with a soft brush. You can't use a hard brush on here. You'll pull out all the the strings and you'll rip everything up. I'm talking about a nice soft brush just to agitate the fibers. That's all you want to do is agitate the fibers a little bit to release the dirt 
and then it'll bring it up and then you squeegee all the dirt right off and then you can re rinse and repeat rinse and repeat as many times as needed um, and then this way you don't damage your carpet and 250 dollars will last you a long time unless money is no option to you then good for you but it is for me so that's kind of what it looks like let me see if i can go higher so you guys can get like a aerial view of it let me see hopefully you guys can still see it okay so that's kind of like a, a higher view so you guys can look like like you're being over it you know what i mean so uh yeah that's it so if you have any questions or comments please post them down below i would love to know also subscri subscribe to my channel join me on my review adventures as i try to put up stuff to help the community out in uh you know spending their hard-earned money and uh investing in stuff that's all trying to help everybody out like i get help from the same community all right so everybody enjoy be safe and have a good one glenville reviews is out bye bye everybody